Here's another giveaway for you, and you might think this is an odd one, because it's not something I've seen from anyone else. I've been playing with this concept for years now. It's the idea that you can compare a physical reference and a digital reference as a guide for compositing. In the description below, you'll find a download link to a zip file containing an RGB PNG image and a CYMK PDF of the same image. The PDF is A4 size, print this off, and that line in the middle should be exactly 10 centimeters. That's our scale reference. So let me show you how I use it. Here's a locked off shot of a car park. I'm deliberately using my phone for this, and I've used a tripod simply so that this tutorial doesn't become one about tracking. I've glued my printout PDF to a piece of cardboard, stuck it in the scene for 10 seconds, removed it, and then shot a further 10 seconds for my background plate. I've dropped them both into the comp and tapped enter to rename the layers reference and clean. I've got reference above clean for now, and first thing I'm going to do is add a Lumetri color effect to set a white balance. Go to effect, color correction, Lumetri color. Expand the basic settings and use the WB selector eyedropper and click on the large gray square or on the white if you prefer. And now I will copy that effect by selecting it and holding control and tapping C, and then I will paste it onto the clean layer by selecting that layer, holding control and tapping V. Great, so that's the first use of our reference card. Now let's talk about scale. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add BB8 using Video Copilot's Element 3D. I'm using BB8 here for two reasons. One, it's one of the models that Video Copilot provide in their free star pack. And two, thanks to a quick Google search, I know BB hates height to be exactly 67 centimeters. So let's add a new solid, which is layer, new, solid, and add the effect, VC element 3D. And let's also drop our reference card PNG into the comp at the bottom and turn it off. And in the custom section of element, let's add the reference card as one of the custom texture maps and then go to Scene Setup, and click to add BB-8. Switch the view to front, and move around using the mouse and mouse wheel to line him up with the window, and now let's add a new cube, and get rid of the chamfer by setting it to zero, and now I have to get the cube's height to match BB-8's. I'll have to do this by eye and edit the Y size value, but eventually I get there. I make it around 0.89. And let's set X to be the same value, but make Z really small. So now let's create a plane. In the plane's texture, set the diffuse channel to be our reference card, and switch the view back to perspective so we can see it. Set its orientation to minus 90 degrees on the x-axis. Okay, so now we know the cube is set to match 67 centimeters, and we have a card with a 10 centimeter scale. We can now use the cube's dimensions to resize first that, and then the plane to correspond to 10 centimeters. The x value is 0.89. All we need to do is divide that value by 67 and multiply it by 10. Or we could just divide it by 6.7. Which gives us a value of 0.13, and applying that to the x and y sizes of the cube gives us a square which corresponds to 10 centimeters on both sides. So now we can... So now we can resize our reference card plane until it matches. Let's turn off BB-8 for the moment, and set a strong non-white color for the cube by expanding the layer and clicking on the material, and then in the diffuse settings, use the color picker to set a color, and switch the view back to front. Now, we only care about the X dimensions, but it looks all weird when being square. So I'm going to plug in the dimensions of the image and then use the scale to adjust the size, which means X is equal to 2.48 and Y is equal to 3.51. Alright, cool. Now you can save the model of the reference card for future use. 
and if we turn the cube off and turn BB8 back on. Oh, but before we leave the editor, let's create a matte shadow plane. Create a new plane and scale it up loads. And let's move it out of the group one folder and set it to be group three and move the reference card out and set that as group two. And now we can leave the editor. Let's go to world transform and create a null. Now in element settings, let's turn group one off for the moment and set the element layers transfer mode to be multiply. And using the position scale and rotation controls, adjust the world transform null until our PNG matches up with our printout. And when you're happy with the scale as close as you can get it, drag the null off to the side slightly so that we can see both cards together and switch the transfer mode back. And now use the orientation controls so that the plane lines up with the ground plane. If you're using camera tracking, you might want to adjust the camera instead. But for this locked off shot, I'm going to rotate the world transform null. Okay, so back in scene setup for a moment, let's add matte shadow texture to our ground plane. You can find that in presets, materials, physical shaders, and double click on matte shadow. And before we leave the editor, set the environment to be one of the defaults that matches the shot. I'm going for the 360 of the freeway. So our scale is now correct and our element world is lined up with the real one. Now for color matching. Add Lumetri color to the element layer and for this shot I needed to crank up the basic exposure to about 4.5. And now in the color wheels section, I've got to get my colors to match as closely with the physical cards white as I can. And now for the focus, let's go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Camera Lens Blur. And add a very tiny amount of blur to match the physical card's focus reference. And finally for this bit, let's add some grain. So go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Match Grain. Point the source layer to the clean plate, and in the tweaking, reduce the intensity down to 0.2. But that effect is kind of render intense, so turn it off for the moment and return to element settings. Turn off group 2 and enable group 1. And in group 1, create a group null, and that will let us animate BB-8. And because there were no strong shadows in this scene, I'm going to expand the render settings and in lighting uncheck use comp lights and I'm going to ignore the shadow settings and instead turn on ambient occlusion and set the intensity to 6. Finally, turn off the reference video layer. Oh, and turn match grain back on and motion blur too. And that's the tip. It's not really a single tip here, more how I use the reference card. I made it to make my life easier. I've not got into how to roll BB-8. I've got a separate video on rolling using expressions, which should appear about now. To roll BB-8, paste the expression in the description below into the Group 1 Orcs Channels Rotations Channel Z. But back to the reference card. What do you think? Is it helpful or confusing? Can you see how I could make it better? Let me know and thanks for watching.